Maybe I should just go home and pretend this never happened. I could just go home, text her that I'm sick or something, and just pretend I didn't get flaked on. Again. On our own anniversary. She's not here to know that's not true anyway. I just had to go and spend good money on this, trying to fix a relationship that has probably already gone to the dogs. Master of good decisions, I am not. Hmm? Oh, hey. What are you doing here? Didn't you have classes or work or something? Ah, uh, you're picking up something from around here. Uh, that explains the plastic bag you're carrying. Well, be careful on your way home. The traffic here was pretty bad, even at this time. Me. I'm not really doing anything. Just, you know, I wanted to bask in the lights here. They're a lot prettier than our area, wouldn't you agree? You don't believe me. Why not? Aren't you always saying that I'm weird? That seems like a pretty weird thing to do to me. Why am I in my nice clothes? Uh... Well... Sometimes I just feel like dressing up. And sitting to bask in the streetlights. Away from home. All right, all right. You don't need to just stand there and stare at me. I know it's a reach. Look, I'm just thinking on something. It's no big deal. I'll be going back home here in a minute anyway. Look, nothing happened. Actually, that's true. Nothing happened. Maybe there was supposed to be something happening tonight, but there sure isn't now. Maybe there hasn't been for a while. You see that stupidly fancy restaurant in front of us? My girlfriend and I were supposed to have a big date night to save our relationship. That restaurant was supposed to be the start of it, and she was supposed to show up. Let's see... An hour and a half ago. There's not much I can do except for just go home. I can't just go in by myself and advertise that my relationship has fallen apart. No, it's fine. You know what they say. Is an important day really skipped if nobody is there to acknowledge it? I'm not going in alone. And I don't really think there's much you can do. Hey, have you eaten yet? I'm asking if you've eaten. I know I haven't. And I do have two tickets for a fancy meal with my name on them. They won't know that you weren't the one that was originally supposed to come with me. No, oh, don't worry about that. There isn't an actual dress code. Maybe social expectation, but nothing enforced, anyway. The real question is if you're okay with that. With coming with me to a fancy restaurant that is almost exclusively for couples. And business partners from scarily high-tiered companies, I guess. Okay. Then let's get inside. It's getting cold out here anyway. Well, maybe if you were out here for an extra hour and a half, you'd probably think it was cold as well. Not that I would want that, of course. If you're still warm, then that's good. But I'm not, so let's try to get inside. Yeah, I heard that this place takes a while to bring out the food. 
but supposedly it's supposed to be pretty good. I was originally planning on using this time to talk with my girlfriend. You know, see if I could try to get some sparks going on early in the date. Then I could use the rest of the date to try to... I don't know. Stir up some excitement for our future. Talk about what we want in the near future. And if that works, see if we can continue that success into the long term. Of course, that's not going to happen now. I'm pretty sure this is a sign that things are... <laughs> I appreciate the suggestion, but I know her well enough that this was probably an answer in her own way. If she was stuck somewhere, she's always been very good about telling me things like that, even right after an argument. If she had an accident or something, We've got automatic alerts set for the other person. <laughs> I know, right? The miracle of modern day technology. I think that she decided that this would be the easiest way to give her answer. I am probably going to get a text tomorrow afternoon explaining that she decided that we should spend her energy somewhere else. Or something like that. Why would she do it that way? Well, she always did say I could handle anything. Being resilient to bad news is one of the few things I do pride myself in. What do you mean that's not right? I'm pretty sure I even nailed how she's going to word it. We have been dating for a while now. Or, rather, we probably were dating for a while now. Ah, uh, not that kind of not right. Well, I'm sure she didn't mean any harm by it. She's just expecting me to handle it well. I don't know if I can say that she was right, considering the fact that I've been outside in the cold, debating on my next move for a while, but... <sighs> you might be right. I mean, just look at us. We've known each other for much longer than her and I. I don't think you've ever done something like this to me even once, much less multiple times. Instead, you've always been there to help me talk through my problems. You've always been supportive of me. And even when you weren't, it's because I was going to do something dumb. Not only that, but you and I share more hobbies together. We like a bunch of the same movies and games. Sure, there's enough to be surprised by each other, but I think it's pretty rare that we get into that awkward moment where one of us just cannot understand the other person's interest in something, and you just blankly stare at them. I don't, I don't know if I would say if it was common, per se, but it happened enough. It was mostly on her side. Like you love to say so much, I'm a bit weird. She tends to struggle to get why people would be so interested in the niche things I'm so fascinated by. <laughs> she also didn't do that very often. I mean what you just did. Saying that I shouldn't feel bad because you also have weird niche interests. She didn't ever say that I should feel bad about them, to be clear. But we rarely had those moments of mutual vulnerability that you're willing to give. She did get pretty sweet when we were cooking together, I guess. Hmm. Do you cook much? Why do I ask? Well, I feel like I owe you. I've been cooking for a few years now, and I don't want any gloom from this to cause my skills to rust. I think cooking you some meals every once in a while might be a good way to pay you back. They probably won't be as good as the chefs here, but I do know my way around a kitchen. No, tonight does not count. 
you're doing me a favor by making sure my money doesn't go to waste and keeping me from eating here alone with my own thoughts. Yet again, you somehow managed to find me when I needed somebody. I want to pay you back somehow. You don't want me to cook for you. Ha, huh, I see. What if I promise to cook home-style stuff? None of the international dishes I am always experimenting with. I mean, I think they're good, but I know they can be a bit unexpected sometimes. Still rejecting it, huh? Well, is there anything you do want so I can pay you back? You want to cook together sometime. Like, you and me cooking in the kitchen. I... I suppose we can do that. You did just hear me say that that's something I was doing with my girlfriend for a while now, right? Are you sure you want to put yourself into that position? If that's what you want, then we can do that. I suppose that cooking with another person is a skill in its own right. I don't want that to get rusty, either. Plus, it would keep the kitchen cheerful, since I would be cooking with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. You're excited for it, huh? You know, I think I might be a bit excited for it as well. And you want to watch our favorite movie afterward? What, while we eat? Actually, that does sound pretty nice. It's been a long while since I've watched it, and it's always better with company. My place hasn't had other people over in a while. And I've still got that big TV you made fun of me for buying. Do you just want to come over for that? Okay. Then you can come to my place, we'll cook up some grub, and we'll watch a movie together on the couch. That sounds like, uh... Uh... No, nothing's wrong. It's, uh... <laughs> well, it sure sounds familiar. I mean, it sounds fun. Warm and cozy, too. Which will be nice after all this. It's... Just... <sighs> no, I'd appreciate it. You're welcome to come by any time. How about this? I will see what my girlfriend's reason for tonight's flaking was. And we can do that if it's one of the reasons I think it is. Does that sound good? Alright, then that sounds like a plan. Oh, and our food's here. That's some good timing. Hey, uh, before we start eating, I want to say thank you. You've somehow turned a really bad night into a pretty good one. You're giving your own time to be with me tonight, and you're even giving me something to look forward to in the near future. Maybe longer than that. Maybe. We'll see how our current plan goes. But really, thank you. I'm truly happy that you've been part of my life, and I hope you can stay here with me. Alright, before things get any more sappy, let's eat our food before it gets cold.